All right, it's warming up. We're heading towards summer, mm -hmm. and it is severe weather awareness week here in Maryland. Here in Maryland, yeah. yeah. And, and as the weather warms up, you know, we want to go over the difference between a severe thunderstorm watch and then a warning because it's, it is a little confusing for people. We talk about show. it all the time, right? Uh, so just to put it in context, uh, let's uh, pretend you're baking a cake or something, right? <laughs> when you're baking a cake, you put all the ingredients on the table and you say, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to have cake, right? But it's not cake yet. All the ingredients mm -hmm. are there. So that's a watch. All the ingredients are on the table. A warning is when you have cake. It's <laughs> happening now. That's the way I like to explain. It. Now I want cake, right? All right, right. so, but first we're going to talk about severe thunderstorms. And I think this is an important definition to go over here. A lot of people take uh, tornado warnings and tornado watches a little more seriously than severe thunderstorm watches and warnings. And I'm going to show you why you shouldn't do that right here. The definition of a severe thunderstorm when the Weather Service issues one is a storm with at least gusts up to 58 miles per hour or hail at least one inch or greater in diameter. One of those two things. But I want to focus your attention at the bottom of the screen there. A severe thunderstorm can produce wind gusts up to 125 miles per hour. That's a microburst. And that's why you should take severe thunderstorm warnings seriously. Tornado warnings, of course, you take seriously, but do the same thing with severe thunderstorm watches and warnings. So let's go over that one more time. A watch means that conditions are right for big thunderstorms to develop, but they haven't yet. A warning means it's happening right now. So if a severe thunderstorm warning is issued for your county, that means there is a severe thunderstorm in the vicinity. Most people get those notifications over their phone. You're not going to get them unless you turn it on. Just remember to turn on the notifications on your phone so you can get all the warnings and watches that come across. If you forget to do that or you're somebody who doesn't want to deal with that kind of stuff, buy a weather band radio. They're really cheap. They work. You can program them to go off only for your county so you don't hear all the other warnings that are issued around the area. I highly recommend that all schools and most businesses have a weather band radio in the office.